Yes. And you need to learn how to depend on God. Won't he make a way? Can I get a witness? It's over here in our text. Lest I bore you too long. Uh, the disciples are fishing. And this is not the first time that they went on a fishing trip. And this is not the first time they fished all night and didn't catch anything. Uh, the first trip was in Lutha. And there, they were there mending their nets. And Jesus told them to go out and catch some fish. My brothers and sisters here in this text, we understand that, that, that these disciples represent the church. Can you witness? And their efforts are marked by their own strength and energy. You know what? Fruitlessness that comes with the best of our anointed efforts. There's a great blessing when we try to obey what God has to say to us. You need to turn to somebody and tell them you got to obey. Uh, there's some lessons that we can learn tonight from these boys. Some lessons that the church need to learn tonight that Mount Zion need to stand at attention on. And that is, you got to learn how to stay with it. Two members are giving up too soon. And we need to learn how to stay with it. Just because your name ain't on the program. I'm sorry, I thought I was at New Life. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it don't happen here. I know it don't happen here. That we need to learn how to stay with it. Yes, if you stay with it long enough, God will make a way for you. If you stay with it long enough, your gifts will make room for you. If you stay with it long enough, God will make your enemy. Somebody know what I'm talking about here. So you got to stay with it. So stay with it. What does that mean? Staying with it means that I must do this. So what I've done in the past will also help me in my future. Uh, I like that, I like this. Regardless how devoted you may be to God and his kingdom, that does not make you immune to trouble in your life. Yes, any path of life that we take always has some potential. Where we'll spend long nights with having empty nets. Yes, many of us have gone through life thinking we're going to try one thing and thinking we're going to try another. But we end up with empty nets. Oh my God. But we got to learn how to keep with it. We got to learn how to work on it. We got to learn how to mend our nets. Can I get a witness in here? I know she talked about you. But that's all right. Keep on mending your net. I know you kept on going to that job over and over. And they, they looked over you and promoted somebody else. That's all right. Keep on mending your net. I know there's somebody in here saying that yes, he left it for another. But that's all right. Keep on mending your net. Because soon and very soon, the very net that had been broken, God will, how many know he will, God will come by and use the same net and fill it for you. Won't he do it? You want to high five somebody and tell God, Shut up. 